Hi, so welcome to another video. So this video, we're going to be talking about the energy associated with a particular wavelength, so 530 nanometers, and we want to convert it into kilojoules per mole. So there's going to be three formulas that we require to do this problem. So the first one would be the formula that uses the speed of light and it relates wavelength to frequency. And the next one would be carrying the frequency across to the Planck's constant relationship. So energy divided by Planck's constant equals your frequency. And then because we need it in per mole, we're going to uh, be requiring Avogadro's number. So the number of things divided by Avogadro's number will give you the moles. So that relationship there. So Starting with nanometers, we need to convert to meters for this equation because wavelength is in meters. Um, so one nanometer equals 10 to the minus nine meters. So let's get started. So first of all, converting into the frequency. So the frequency equals the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So C divided by your wavelength, which would be So that gives us 5.657 by 10 to the 14 hertz. So that's our frequency. So carrying it across to this next formula. So we'll do the frequency multiplied by Planck's constant, which will give us the energy. Okay, so I'll write it Planck's constants times the frequency. So that equals 3.74 by 10 to the minus 14 joules which equals uh, 3.74 by 10 to the minus 22 kilojoules. So remember converting joules into kilojoules because we want our answer uh, in kilojoules per mole. So I'm just going to clear off some of this uh, light board so that that way I can do the final conversion. Okay, so but what we've done so far is we've worked out the frequency using this first triangle and then we put that into the second triangle and we've worked out our energy and we've done it in kilojoules because we need kilojoules per mole. So I'm just going to leave this one here and I'm going to wipe the rest out. Okay, so that is 3.74 times 10 to the 22 kilojoules of energy and that's talking about one photon. So now we want to put it into kilojoules per mole. Okay, so we want to know that this is our number of things that we're trying to find. So uh, we want it in kilojoules. So how many kilojoules per one mole? So we will be uh, multiplying the value that we've got by Avogadro's number. So to convert it into per mole, we've got uh, 225.15 kilojoules per mole. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this helped you understand the concept a little bit more. It is quite a long question, but um, just remember the conversion that frequency is the one that converts from the speed of light formula to the Planck's constant formula to get out the energy in joules that then needs to be converted depending on what your question is actually asking you to find. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.